Saturday, May 21st, 2016. This is Daryl Clem with picks and predictions of this year's French Open in the men and women's draw. This year is the first year that I will be covering the tournament and doing my best to predict and make picks of what's going to happen in the two draws because quite frankly I'm not as familiar I don't follow the clay court circuit as much as others may do because uh, I've never really this is probably one of the least favorite surfaces you know growing up in the U USA I, I enjoy the hard court tennis and grass court tennis because it's a bit faster but uh, this year I'm just going to give it a shot and make my predictions for the upcoming tournament at Roland Garros. Anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I, I'm i kind of... Uh, I, usually, you know, most would assume that it would be quite easy to predict the men's half of the draw considering that in the, pa the past decade it's been won almost exclusively by none other than... Rafael Nadal, but uh, this year is not going to be the case, as you will find out later. And in the women's draw, it's going to be quite interesting as well, like it usually is. I don't see defending champ Serena Williams repeating once again, but I will continue on later on to, to explain why. Now let's start with the men's draw. Looking at this year's men's draw, we have some uh, really good players, uh, such as uh, we have uh, the perennial favorites, which usually come up, such as uh, Rafael Nadal. We have Novak Djokovic, and Andy Murray, and a host of others. Like I said, in the past 10 years, if you just, you, it would be Nadal by default. Uh, as I, while growing up as a boy, there would usually be some clay court specialists that would come out, such as uh, Gaston Gudeo or Sergi Bruguera, uh, that would win predominantly on clay court tournaments, and and they would they would have like these these really impressive records on clay. However, when they when they came to the USA or played on surfaces other than clay, they were basically non-existent. So that's that's sort of why I have a problem with this tournament, you know, as growing up in the US. But anyway, going back to this getting more in depth in the men's draw, uh, there 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 seems to be uh, some people have a harder road than others, which includes Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic has a, has a tough draw event to, before he gets into the second week. He may potentially face uh, Frederick or Frederico del Bonus of Argentina, who is usually a, a very good player, and and in the fourth round he may potentially face. Roberto Bautista Agut, who is also another great player, well, very accomplished player, who may give, uh, who may be a threat to uh, Djokovic before the second week. But overall, I look for, I I see uh, Djokovic advancing well into the second week. Also, in addition to that, we have. Of course, the perennial favorite, the favorite by default most years, Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal, also, once again, he's going to have a, a tough draw. He may face someone who had who had beaten him, I believe, three times last year, the Italian number one, Fabio Fanini. Although he may, he may have gone out of the limelight this year, Fanini... Fanini looks like he may play the role of spoiler, uh, advancing past Nadal, in in may what may be a 
best of five set match of fifth set uh, fifth five set match which he will win and I'll then advance into the round of 16 but once again like like I said he will play simply play a role of spoiler and I don't see him as a potential winner of the this year's tournament also we have players such as Andy Murray, who recently won a week ago in Madrid, the Madrid Masters 1000, he he has he's looking quite good. He's got a very, what I would say, relatively easy uh, first week, uh, potentially facing a lot of American, the American giants such as Sam Query and John Isner. But uh, I see him easily getting into the in the second week without any problems. Whereas with other players such as uh, Novak Djokovic, he will have he will have some problems against players such as Frederick Dalbonis or uh, Dal uh, uh, and uh, and others. Okay, now. Let's go into let's talk about other players like such as the Americans and being from the USA. Well, how can I, how could I dare, talk about the French without mentioning the Americans? There will be there will be some Americans, but uh, that will do well. But it's all relative, you know. For America, for an American, they'll do very well. But for uh, internationally, they they won't be that great. But Hey, but look in the bright side of things. Hey, uh, players such as N- Nebraska native Jack Sock, look at look look for him to do perform better than the King of Clay, Rafael Nadal, and that's that's quite impressive. He he will repeat uh, last year's result of advancing to the round of sixteen, which which is which I which I predict will be better a better result than. Uh, for Nadal this year. And let's go on to the women's side. The women's side is quite it's interesting it's been an interesting year, tainted with a lot of uh, controversy with the uh, doping scandal involving Maria Sharapova. Uh, hopefully the WTA will put that all behind them and they will move on. And uh but it's it's looking it's it's it looks kind of wide open on the women's side. Uh, there will be some players like uh, I don't see American number one and world number one uh, Serena Williams uh, retaining the title once again this year, and uh, I I I see some basically we'll go back to the the uh, the perennial clay court countries which will fare very well this year in the tournament uh, such as the country of Spain and I think the one of the basically veteran players will surprise uh, this year's tournament and win the tournament and I, I believe uh, look for like a breakthrough year from Carlos Suarez Navarro, uh, who will have a really great tournament, and uh, I think the Spaniards are going to do very, very well this year, and they were they're going to saturate the second week. I think uh, two out of the four players in the in the semifinals will be Spaniards, and uh, I think it's going to be a great year for the Spaniards uh, once again. So. Just to rehash what I went over and the men's draw, I, I really believe that uh, it's going to be uh, it, basically that Nadal is going to be out by uh, before the round of 16, round of 32 in the third round, losing to losing to his nemesis from a, from Italy, Fabio Fanini. I look for a strong showing from Andy Murray, who I believe will advance all the way into the finals. 
And uh, also, in addition to that, I also see a good showing from Nish- Kai Nishikori, who will advance to the quarterfinals this year. He'll do quite well for an Asian player on the men's side. Okay, but overall, let's get down to the meat and potatoes here. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Who will I pick to win this year's tournament in the men and women's draw? Okay, considering that I say think Andy Murray's going to do a great job, he's got a really good... Uh, his draw looks looks great all the way through. I, I'm going to pick Andy Murray to win Roland Garros and beat like, the first... First, obviously the first Scottish player ever to win the tournament. And on the women's side, I'm going to go for the journey woman or journey journeyman or journey woman to win the tournament from Spain. Carla Suarez Navarro. Look for her to win. So I'm going to go on the men's side with, once again, Andy Murray, and on the women's side, Carlo Su- Suarez Navarro. Okay, for Saturday, May 21st, 2016, this is Daryl Kramer with the picks and predictions of this year's French Open. Until next time, so long. Goodbye. Goodbye.